Well, today's task is about building numbers and doing that in different ways. And the way that the videos are set up are going to be slightly different from here on in. Uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to build some skills, then you're going to have a go at a problem solving task, and we'll actually have a look at the answer to it in the video. So most of what we're going to do from now on is on the video. And then there's little extension tasks as well. We'll have a look at them at the beginning of tomorrow. So I wonder if anyone will be able to get to that. But really persevere on those tasks, keep going, and, uh, and you're going to get an enormous amount from them. So let's go for a really quick history in our place value in our number system. So when you're younger, you might look at this and see a number like this and be asked how many, and you go very excitedly, this is eight. I know that's eight. And then when some more get put in, let's say we get some more ones in here, um, then we see something like this, and we say how many now? Oh, and we know that is 12. But we have this unusual thing here, because now I've got 12 ones, but also I can make this with tens and ones. So I could show 12 like, like this. So remove those 10 ones and replace them with one 10. And actually it's the same, it's the same. Now, of course, this is our place value number system. It's the same in loads of ways. So we'll have like a thousand is the same as, as 10 hundreds. And, and we need to understand that this and this are the same. Um, and this is, makes our number system really straightforward. And then again, you might progress as we, as we, get, as we get older and hopefully wiser. Um, you know, so we might go from something like this. When we're younger, we have zero to 10 and we're asked, well, what number is here? And maybe we go, oh, that looks like it's about seven. And we don't really think, well, well, we need to go down to, you know, we can't use the tens column anymore. And now we're using the ones column and so on. And again, it might be that then we get an example when we get slightly older. So there's zero, there's a thousand. What number is here? And so let's say we think this one is, a, is about 300. And we've got to realize we're not going in the thousands column, we're going in the column back. And in just the same way, understand those big ideas, when we get zero and zero point, let's go for 0 0.001 is there. And then I asked, what number is here? Then I've just got to think, well, I can't be looking at it in 0, 0.00 in, in hundreds. So I've got to give this, it must be in thousands. Um, but really, this and all this understanding, it's the same thing. It's just an understanding of place value. That, of course, is what this, uh, this week is going to be around. And we're going to do so much problem solving in it as well. So today's task is called building thousands. We're going to look at how numbers are constructed and the different ways that that can be done. And that will lead into this problem solving that we're going to do of finding different possible answers and different possible ways of putting numbers together. Um, so as a warm up, I want us to have a look at this task here. Um, and it's looking at different ways that 426 can be made uh, with, the, with these counters. Uh, so pause the video and have a go. Okay, and then when you're ready, let's have a look. So this first example, we know that we've got two tens, so that must be the, the, this 20 here. Um, so how must the rest of that number be made? Well, we must have four hundreds and six ones. So four hundreds, two tens and six ones, the standard way of making 426. Um, well, how else can it be made? Here, I've got 400 and, and then one, 400 and 110, so I've got 410. So how many ones? Well, it must be 16 if we're going to get up to 426. And what about 426? We've got these six ones, and then how many tens must we have to make up the rest of the, the number? Must have 42. 42 tens is the 420. Um, now, here's the challenge that we're going to launch into to start off with. So you get to level one if you can find an answer. Level two, if you can find different answers. Level three, find four or more ways. Now, I would say if you get to four ways, that's fantastic. But different ways, how creative can you be? And the ways that you can make 2,150 using thousands, hundreds, and tens. Now, I realize you don't have the counters in front of you. That's fine. You can record um, your how many counters you've used, a little bit like in the example just a moment ago. Uh, pause the video, have a go, and then we're going to look at some different solutions in a moment. Well, let's have a look at some different possible ways of making 2,150. I could use what I'd call a standard way, so 2,000s, 100, and 510s, that's one way. Um, but have a look at this one here. I, I could use 1,000, and then I have another 10, 10, 100 coins, sorry, another 10, 100 coins in comparison to this one here. So I'd have 11 hundred coins uh, and then I would still have my five ten coins 
Or how about this? I don't use 1,000 coins at all. So I make 2,100 just by doing 21, lots of 100. And then I've got my 5, 10 coins. Or maybe I could just use the 10s. And how many 10 coins would I need? I would need 215. Now we're going to go a little bit further. So have a look at these two questions, question A and question B, and which question can be completed in more ways and how do you know? So see if you can explain why one of the questions can be completed in more ways than the other one. Pause the video and have a think about this. Okay, and let's have a look. Well, 1,300 can actually be made with these counters in two different ways. I could use 1,000 counter and then I could use 300 counters or I could use no 1,000 counters and 1,300 counters. And, and then, so it's just those two ways. Now, question B can actually be answered in four different ways. Um, so for example, 3,000 counters and 100. It could be 2,000 counters and then um, I have to increase the number of 100 counters by 10. So then it'd be 1,100 counters and so on. And now if you just think about the way that the thousands counters are used then, I could make this number with three thousands counters, with two thousands counters, with one thousand counter, or with no thousand counters. So there, there's four different ways. So every time I introduce another thousand to either of these numbers, then I have another possible way because I can either answer with a thousand, another thousand counter or with another ten hundred counters. Um, but let's say I make 1,300 into 1,400, then actually it can still only be answered, this question would still then only be able to be answered in two ways, because I can only make 300 or 400 using the hundreds. So just like here, I can make this number up to 3,900, and it doesn't ch it changes the number of coins I would ne need to make the number, but it doesn't change the number of ways I can answer the question because I can only make the hundreds values using the hundreds coins, whereas the thousands values I can make with the thousands coins or with 10 lots of the hundreds coins. And so we get to today's task, clicking that blue link at the bottom of the video. Um, now, now, most of the work you're going to do will actually be in the videos because we want to do the problem solving and then see the solutions outworked. Um, however, there is this extend task. And I know we've been looking at building thousands. This is actually a challenge in hundreds, but it will explore the same concepts and in great depth. So we're going to be looking at making 423. What's the fewest counters that can be used to make 423? Can, how many ways can you make 423 using 18 counters? And how do you know that you found all the possible ways? Can you find a way of doing it with 27 counters? There's another challenge for you. Um, so have a go at those questions. Um, we're going to look at them actually at the beginning of tomorrow's video. And the answers again are at the bottom. Good luck, good luck. I shall see you tomorrow for more problem solving.